your Storm Tracker Team forecast with Danielle Uliano. Well, things kind of cleared up and made it for an average Friday here. Temperature 72 degrees, normally 69, so slightly above average, but overall pretty nice out there. We started to clear our skies out slightly. Temperatures right now sitting at 73 degrees, feels like 73 with calm winds. Those calm winds, though, are going to pose a threat for some fog overnight tonight into tomorrow. Radar, though, showing some showers and storms mostly south of the I-1012 corridor and again off to our east. But here in Baton Rouge, we're going to zoom in quickly here. We're starting to see a little peak of sunshine through those clouds. We're also seeing those drier conditions, which is perfect for our parades that are rolling here in just over two hours. So a decent parade forecast for tonight and for tomorrow. Strong storms, though, do move in Sunday, and that's going to be associated with our next cold front. And this is going to lead to a chilly Mardi Gras forecast. Yes, I said chilly, but at least it'll be dry. Looking, taking a look here at Spanish Town forecast for tomorrow. 11 a.m. 70 degrees, 12 p.m. 73, 1 p.m. 75. So again, it's going to be very mild, very warm, above average. Clouds mostly through the morning and through the time where the parade rolls. Storms don't really start to move into our area until around one, between one and three, and that's when they move on through. So again, it's going to be dry for the forecast. Let's take you here though, 7 p.m. for tonight. Still clouds across the board, but still dry, which is great for those parades. And then we move into tomorrow. We do see some spotty showers make their way through overnight and into the early morning, but by 12 and 12.30 tomorrow, we are mostly dry. The clouds do stick around, but I think we can compromise on that. And then 3.30 in the afternoon, you start to see those showers move their way on shore and move on north. But a lot of that heavy rainfall doesn't move it until Sunday. This is 8 a.m. on Sunday. You see widespread isolated showers and storms. And then the line doesn't push through from the northwest associated with that cold front till Sunday afternoon. You're looking at a window between 2 and 4 for that. And again, that has a chance to be a little on the stronger side and create a severe potential. So in terms of rainfall, we're not looking at anything extreme here. You're looking at anything from a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, and that's over the next one to three days. You're not looking at that all at one time. In terms of severity for Sunday, this is on Sunday, you're looking at a squall line. You're under a slight risk north of I-10 and 12. You're looking at a marginal risk south of I-10 and 12. Coastal locations just under that general thunderstorm risk. And with this, we can expect strong winds, quarter sized hail, and we can't rule out that chance for an isolated tornado. So enjoy the calmness over the next two days because some come Sunday, you're going to need to stay weather aware. Seven day forecast showing those temperatures very mild the next two days. But check out that cold front really drops our temperatures on Monday. 53 degrees. You go from almost 80 to 53 overnight lows getting very close to freezing on Tuesday. Fat Tuesday for Mardi Gras, 54 degrees. And then you head into the rest of the week. We start to rebound our temperatures there. And guys, here's a look at your Skeeter meter. We're going to drop our populations over the weekend. And remember, you can always catch us on the radio. We partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge. Hey, stick around. We'll be right back.